Well, speaking of flat lions, we've saw, we found some of our own. We are back with the Angama Pride, since the Sausage Tree Pride decided to give us the slip well and truly. We are back with the Angama, or at least some of the Angama Pride, including one that's decided that that tree is the best possible pillow. And then one little one off to the right, looking a little bit lost and bemused. And in fact, like it wants to get up and play more likely. I have absolutely no idea where the rest of the pride is. I assume they are off in the trees somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure. Dave, I'm sorry, but can we have another look at that lion cub that's lying on the... Tr oh, it's shifted around now. The one was lying on the tree, so beautifully using it as a pillow. It's too sweet. Well, you've got to make do with what you've got out here. Sometimes the ground Oh, sweet. Sometimes the ground's a little bit too hard, and the tree's the next best thing. So we've got four, which means we're missing 13 of the members of the Angama Pride. Three lionesses and the other ten cubs are absent somewhere around here. Our plan for the afternoon will be, oh, fingers crossed, to stick with them. At the moment they we are where we can off-road. They might decide to go across the road, in which case Dave and myself will have to look for other things. And of course all of this building up to our final installment of our migration series on, well for us Saturday morning, for I think most of you it will be on Friday night. Obviously, I know we've got viewers in Australia and the UK, so that doesn't apply for everyone. But it will be our final, final TV show, for the migration special at least. And then we're all going to look like that cub, aren't we, Dave? Three nights out here, and come Saturday morning, I think we're all going to be in much the same position. Hopefully with a pillow rather than a branch, but you never know. Don't forget, because this is a live safari that you are on, to send through your comments or your questions on hashtag safari live on Twitter in much the same way that Catherine has done. Catherine, you say they are so cute. They are, aren't they? Especially, and I think it makes for a nice contrast to Ali's sighting. It sounds like there's been a little bit of drama in terms of the male dynamics in the Sabi Sands with the Birmingham boys. So it makes a nice contrast to that particular sighting. Especially that little chap. Okay, so Proud Cat Mama, we want to know roughly how old these cubs are. This one, I would say, this is one of the, oh gosh, we, get, we have set A, B, C, and D. <laughs> From oldest being A and D being youngest. This is C, set C, and that would make them around about, hold on a sec, about four months old, maybe four and a half months old. I'd say closer to four. The youngest set is around about three and a half months old. The older cubs, A and B, are between the ages of, I would say, around about six and a half months now and must be close to nine, the oldest set. Let me think. They looked, they were about six months old when we first, when we first got here between five and six months old and we've been here for one, two, three months. Yeah, so you're looking around about nine months old. As our lions snooze away, fortunately at peace with the world, Tinio of course has not had a very peaceful night. Let's go and see how he's doing this afternoon.